Welcome to the Heatwave Gen AI e-commerce demo. This demo will showcase two use cases, a product review summary automatically generated by Heatwave Gen AI and localized product descriptions translated using Heatwave Gen AI. The demo consists of a typical e-commerce site with a full suite of data in the form of a product catalog, customers, and product reviews. The site is built via a classic three-tier architecture. It uses a web front end that talks to a REST middleware layer and behind all of that is the Heatwave service with Heatwave Gen AI capability. Because no outside components such as caches or LLMs are involved, this simple architecture is easily scalable. Let's dismiss this intro screen so we can see the full site. As you can see, there's a variety of products. Let's select the t-shirt. This is the t-shirt product page. We see the product description to the right, and loading in real time underneath that is a product review summary generated by Heatwave Gen AI. After a few moments, Heatwave Gen AI has produced in real time for us a short overview of all the reviews for this product. Let's quickly view the reviews that made up the summary. Notice that they are all just unstructured text entered by our customers. This is the real power of using Heatwave Gen AI. Imagine a real store with thousands or millions of products and tens or hundreds of reviews per product. The task of writing summaries manually would be impossible. By using Heatwave Gen AI, it is as easy as writing a SQL query to read the reviews as unstructured data and present a natural language summary automatically. And this scales as our site scales. As new reviews are added, they are automatically propagated to the site and the summary is always up to date. The Heatwave service with Heatwave Gen AI capability is the data store and all the data is immediately available to Gen AI. There's no additional component to integrate or manage. Now let's take a look at the second way we're using Heatwave Gen AI in this demo to provide us with natural language translations. Using the language selector for this site, we select Spanish. Instantly, we see the product page updated to show our product description in Spanish. To create these translations, we created a translation stored procedure and ran that across all of the product descriptions using another stored procedure to automatically create translations into each of the target languages, which is what you see here. Now notice that the review summary is loading once again, but this time it's not just generating a summary, it's also translating the summary into the target language for the page. Implementing this was a snap. We just had to add a translation routine we'd already built for the product description translations. Just a few lines of code. And there you go. An e-commerce site powered entirely by Heatwave Gen AI. Pretty cool. Now let's take a look behind the scenes. Here we look at each of the procedures used to create this demo. First up, we have the summarize review command. To create the review summary is pretty simple, really. First, we load the LLM model. We use a SQL select statement to select all of the reviews for the product. And with those reviews, we need to concatenate them together and send the concatenated result to Gen AI. We give Gen AI the cohere summarization task command and the result is the summary we wanted. After we generated the summary, if the target language was not in English, then we use the translation routine that we will see later in this video to translate the output. Next up, to create the data for this demo, we also used Heatwave Gen AI to create the reviews for us. To do this, we simply create a temporary table containing one row per review per product per customer. In place of the review text, we constructed a prompt to be given to Gen AI to generate the review. It took a bit of trial and error to get the result we wanted. In the end, we asked Gen AI to write the review on behalf of the customer with a randomized rating and a few guardrails about what not to say. This prompt gave us pretty good reviews. The final step is simply to select all of the, the rows from the materialized view, invoking Gen AI on the prompt text and inserting the result back into the reviews table. For the product description translations, we employ a similar technique as for the reviews. We materialized a view of the data that we wanted. We use a prompt that will ask Gen AI to translate the product description for us select across the whole set of rows, and insert them back into the product descriptions table. Finally, let's look at the translation routine. We start by defining the translation prompt. The prompt is relatively straightforward. We simply ask Gen AI to translate the original text into our target language and give it a few guardrails. For convenience, we also define the Gen AI task and a routine to help massage the result we get back from Gen AI. The translation routine simply takes in the input text, loads the Mistral model, 
uses the prompt and the task that we already declared, invokes GenAI, and returns the result.